Say hi. Let's listen. Say hi. Say hi, Lynn. Say hi, Webster. It's a beautiful day, huh? Why, thank you. They are so sad. They look sad today. Why, sad? Because it's a last of module five. It's a last. I'm hiding my excitement. Here go kisses. Mwah. Look at the camera. See? Uh oh. I think your brother's getting in trouble. Say hi, everybody. See? I see you later. See you up. See? What's up? And say hi. And I'm very, very tired today. Okay. Say, you love math. You always do. Okay. So now we're back to surface area. And surface area, now we don't have the, the net drawings on the paper. Now we actually have the shape. So, so we have our formula, our traditional surface area formula that you'll see on Regents exams when you get older. And this is the cube formula. It means surface area equals six times the side squared. So you'd square the side and then multiply it by six. Or you could just do the traditional formula. Now, there's a shortcut to how to do this, and it's still accepted um, in New York State style of practices with our module book. So I'm going to show you the shortcut here because it's a lot easier. So I'm going to look at all the combinations. So I could say the 15 can be multiplied by the 15, and that takes care of the bottoms. And then I can do the 15 times the 7. And then I have another um, 15 times the 7 here, but then I also have 15 times the 7 based on the side. It's always easier if they have different combinations, but see how they doubled this 15? That was a bummer. So we use the 15 by 15. We use the 15 by 7 here. Moving this over here, that gets the front and the far, far back. And then this 15 by 7 is the side. Now, that's only one of each of them. So after we get this answer to each of these, we can then times each of them by 2. Or we could take the answer and double it. So 15 times 15 is 225. So I'm just going to put times two because when we have uh, a bottom, there's a top. So 15 times seven is 105. And when we times that by two, we'll get a new number. And then we're going to take these new numbers and we're going to add them all together. And 15 times seven again is 105. We double it. So we have 450, 210, 210, 567. Four, five, six, seven, eight. 870 inches squared equals the total surface area of that particular shape. So we truly did this formula. Two lengths times widths. So the length times widths was this. So two of them. There we go. And then we have length heights, which is the front and the back, which is right there. And then we have the width heights, which are two of those. So we just did a shortened version of this long drawn out formula. Still works. All right, moving along. We are going to move to our next one. We're not going to do anything with fractions. You can figure out the fraction one when we do the in-class work. But that's that one. So here we go. The decimals, you can get caught up in the decimal world, and it can be very difficult. So I'm going to bank all the combinations. So the two times the three, the two, sorry, let's rephrase that. The two and three tenths can be multiplied by the eight and four tenths. The two and three tenths can also be multiplied by the 18 and seven tenths. And then the only combo we didn't use was, was 18 and seven tenths times the eight and four tenths. And then when we get these answers, we're going to double each of them. And then after we double each of them, we will then um, get our final answer. So we have 2 and 3 tenths times 8 and 4 tenths, which will equal 19 and 34 hundredths. That's one of them. So we have to times it by 2 because we need two of them. And then we can remember two numbers after decimal point, C1, 2. That's why we jumped. 
Now we have 2 and 3 tenths being multiplied by 18 and 7 tenths, which is 43 and 1 hundredth times 2 again. And then we have 18 and 7 tenths times 8 and 4 tenths, which is bigger, which is 157 and 8 hundredths. We have to times that by 2. Once again, because the 18 by 8 and 4 tenths, that one is the front and the back. So that's the front and back. The 2 and 3 tenths by 18, that's the top and the bottom. And this is the side and the side. So now we can take the 19 and 34 hundredths and we times that by 2. And we're going to get 38 and 68 hundredths. And we have the 43 and 1 tenth times 2, which is 86 and 2 tenths. And then we have the 157 and 8 hundredths being multiplied by 2, which is 314 and 16 hundredths. So then we have to add them all together. So we have 314 and 16 hundredths, 86 and 2 tenths. i make that look better. And 2 tenths and 38 and 68 hundredths, and we add them all together. So that added all together is a grand total of 438 and 86 hundredths centimeters square for surface area of that shape. So moving that down just so you can see the final answer to that. It's a lot of work to find surface area. More than likely, they wouldn't give you something that difficult. And this fraction one, they're more likely to give you something that's just ever so slightly different than this. All right. And that's about where we are. So that's the end of our module. I love math. We are almost going into our last module. and. Hope you are all enjoying your week.